Can you guess what it means? Did you understand? So this is the correct answer. The person who made this sign wanted to say, please refrain from using only the bathroom. Like this, there is a lot of real English in Japan which bothers the foreigners. So today, we would like to talk about this issue, and we also took a survey and interviewed some people about it. For the first survey, 80% of the people said they've seen weird English in Japan. Now let's head on to the interviews. Sure, I've, I, 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 there's uh, plenty of it <laughs> around, yes. I've seen, heard. Yes. Yes, um, I've seen, whether it's on the train, whether uh, I'm walking down the, the street. I guess I probably have, but uh, it's hard for me to remember the examples because I think I forget them mm -hmm. soon. But. Sometimes I see them here. Yes. Yes, all the time. On the back of the t-shirt, there's some weird English on it. It's like, for kids, it's like, happy days in my life. Tomorrow will be lucky kind of a thing. It doesn't make sense. Out of 80% of the people that said they've seen weird English in Japan, 88% of them had trouble understanding it. From time to time, it's been confusing. I remember when I uh, used to teach, uh, uh, I got a job at a high school, a junior high school, and I was assigned to the soft tennis t uh, club. I had no idea what soft tennis even was. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, yes, yeah, sometimes. So there was a famous type of um, uh, coffee whitener. It's like powdered milk that you add to coffee to make it um, uh, a more milky taste. This coffee was called Creep. C-R-E-A-P. I don't know where the name was, who got the idea for the name, but maybe somebody told someone it is a joke because Creep means somebody who's sort of, sort of uh, strange or weird, a weird person. So to call the coffee whitener Creep was a very odd mm. name. Oh, many times. Um, it's, it's reverse um, words that are not uh, clearly stated in a complete sentence. We are happy, knew your life, okay? I want to go in that company and go, excuse me, can we look at the dictionary for a little bit and understand what this means? No, I don't think so. I think usually I can, I can understand what the person is trying to say. I think maybe, I don't know if I can actually say it's weird English. If I look at like what my students write, sometimes uh, the English is okay, but it's too long mm -hmm. and maybe too complicated. And actually, there's an easier way or shorter way to say that kind of thing. It's not actually that theirs is weird, but it's, it's not what we say. I know what they want to say, but it's really weird and you just can't imagine what they're saying. One of the reasons, I think, is because in high school, um, there's a high emphasis on learning uh, vocabulary, but they don't always learn vocabulary, uh, students don't always learn vocabulary in context. Um, many countries have um, names that are very unusual or odd because people misunderstood what the word means or what the word meant. So there's many examples in English of this too. Uh, for instance, I will look at a person's t-shirt, whatever, and they'll have a phrase. They'll have a sentence on, uh, on this t-shirt. And I say, hey, in English, I say, hey, I know what that means. And they look at me, ooh, wakarimasen. <laughs> so they don't understand. The answer is 
they don't do simple research, they don't take the time to really understand what that word means or what the complete sentence means. Sometimes it's a translation problem. And so, uh, if, just, if you've just made the sentence using your dictionary, maybe it creates that kind of a problem. I think another problem could be, maybe it's something we don't normally talk about, that kind of a situation. Mm -hmm. So, it's, it's not easy for us to know how to say it, because you're describing something that is not part of normal conversation, mm -hmm. like how to use, way to use it, the bathroom. Mm -hmm. School, it's really um, difficult to, they just teach you the grammar a lot and they don't really focus on speaking and more like communicational um, skills. It, it can be changed through uh, changing how English is taught in, uh, especially in, 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 uh, in junior high school, in the high school levels because, um, uh, because uh, 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 but to be able to teach or, uh, Especially when it comes to uh, spoken English, uh, to teach how to use vocabulary in talk uh, context, you also need teachers that have to have a, 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 that uh, that that uh, that speak English at a at a at a reasonably high level, and have a, a good intuition about the language. Well, if people are translating names from English into another language, they should check the translation. But again, it doesn't always happen with Japanese mistakes of English. People shouldn't get that attitude. Sometimes people make mistakes about Japanese. There are many people in America who have tattoos which are kanji, but the kanji is not correct or it's backwards because somebody did it who wasn't Japanese. So these are misunderstandings that would be solved if people checked with native speakers before they mm. use something, especially if it's going to be a commercial product, a name of something, or a tattoo. I think there should be, within English classes, whether they're conversation classes, there's a variety in Japan, have a special class where you learn jargon, where you learn slang. Set the record straight. Help them know, hey, this is what something truly means. Help them understand that better. And you can use that with pictures and a variety of other things in different uh, student-centered activities. Uh, I think the way you're doing it now, that is, ask someone what they think about something uh, before you make the sign. Mm -hmm. I think the problem is that uh, they just check the dictionary and check mm -hmm. some grammar books and decide that the sentence is okay and then they make the sign. But maybe if they ask someone, then they'll find out that it sounds kind of strange. I think should um, bring more American teachers or make more English classes first of all and they don't I think they should make the English school I mean classes really fun not like study study kind of a study thing that you use a chalkboard and so you just I think you should make it fun in our opinion we should we should have translation checked by native speakers and Japanese and English are completely different languages, so just translating to word, word to word is not enough, and that ma that can make weird English. I think that this problem happens because usually in Japan, in English classes at school, we don't really have chances to speak in English. We usually just listen to the teachers speak, so I think that um, if there's more chances for us to speak in English classes, I think it will improve everyone's skills. What did you guys think about this video? We hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank, Thank you for, for watching. watching. Don't forget to like. And comment. And subscribe.